Video Talk. Hello and welcome to another Video Talk. My name is Willy and I want to talk to you today about a film called Metal Storm, The Destruction of Jared Sin in 3D. Metal Storm, The Destruction of Jared Sin in 3D. It's a science fiction action fantasy film from the year 1983, directed by Charles Band and starring Jeffrey Byron. It is a story about this uh, Mad Max kind of dude wandering around desert wastelands and helping people. One day he stumbles in this um, daughter of a miner uh, whose father has been killed by um, this criminal overlord called Jared Sin. Now, this Jar Jared Sin has a son who has this mechanical arm. He spills some kind of acid or poison from his arm. Somehow this poison acid makes the victim go to this parallel universe where the Jared Sin kills his victims with using these kind of crystals or something like that. Okay, I'm getting very deep into that subject of the matter because this is an action adventure targeted mainly for kids and clearly the film has taken some very much influences from films like Mad Max, especially Road Warrior. In 1983, the Mad Max came out in 1982 and 83 saw the influx of this kind of Mad Max inspired action film, but I think this film Metal Storm is more influenced by Star Wars. It is not directly after nuclear holocaust or war like that. It, I don't think this film even is set on Earth. It is, it's more like this kind of fantasy world, uh, like a Masters of Universe world. That would be more appropriate to describe the world of Metal Storm. Man. A solitary warrior of great courage. His name is Dogen, and he is called the Finder. His enemies will emerge from the underworld to test his strength. Jack Dogen wanders around these, these wastelands. He storms into these strange kind of creatures. There are some snake-like worms that grab your feet. There are Cyclop warriors played by this guy from Night Court. And then of course Tim Thomerson who is more like a Han Solo kind of dude who helps our hero to achieve his goals. And of course Jared Sin, the main villain of this film, who is played by, oh, he's, the, he's Mike Preston. He, he's, he was also in the Mad Max Road Warrior. But he was in Mad Max Road Bory, he was the good guy. Now he's the bad guy in this one. And uh, to be perfectly honest, every, every actor in this film is pretty good, except for the main character. I think he has a great thousand acre stare, but I don't think he's a very charismatic actor. And I think this type of film should have um, more charisma and more humor. This, this dude he just stares there and kind of is in the place, but kind of is, is not. This film was made with very little budget and it shows. It is mainly shot in some mining area or something like that. And it is shot in 3D. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I watch it on, on 3D. Screen Factory Blu-ray is region locked to region A and since I'm living in region B so I had to buy a fucking region free player in order to watch Metal Storm the destruction of Jared Sin in actual 3D. The 3D scenes in this film are pretty impressive. I have to say that I'm not a big fan of 3D, but I'm a big fan of this legacy type of 3D. When they analogically made all these effects and when they tried to put that shit in every scene, there's tracking shots when there's some tree branches coming at you and also laser beams coming at you and this great scene where where this one of the bad guy cyclops throws this kind of throwing star at you uh, uh, uh. 
and of course this uh, the guy who has the metal claw. I meant no harm. Oh, oh, this looks pretty amazing. Even though f this film is ridiculously short, it's 84 minutes, but I think it has almost like almost 10 minutes of end credits, and the music even plays after the credits. And so 84 minutes is exaggerated duration for this film because it is well under 80 minutes. But I have to say many times I had my eyes crossed. I had to do this because these 3D glasses and this effect was, was twisting my eyes. Well, I also have here a Finnish video release by Videotrake Arbitrage under VTC label uh, Teras Myrsky, which means Metal Storm. I have very nostalgic memories about this tape. I remember seeing this as a kid and I always thought that this film was 2019 after the fall of New York because I also saw that about same time when I was kid, I can't tell you which age I was, but around same times when I grew up, I I had my I got my hands again on Metal Storm, and I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I fucking want to watch this again. And when I watched it, I thought, okay, it's great picture, but uh, where was this music? This uh, <laughs> It was until a few years later that I learned that it is a different kind of film, 2019. So that's Metal Storm by Arbitrage VTC VHS, Finnish VHS for you. But let's talk about a little bit this uh, Shout Factory DVD. It contains two DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, and the other one is 3D and the other one is a normal version. And the normal version disc includes all the all the extra features. And this Blu-ray box has a great documentary, High Noon at the End of the Universe. I, I watched it and I learned of very much of making of this picture and I learned that they sold this picture to Universal when they made uh, the infamous Jaws 3D. I have to watch that in 3D someday. I haven't seen it ever on D DVD. 3D. Universal was kind of excited about this new technology, new technology 3D, and they wanted every every film they could get their hands on, which were in 3D, and they bought the Metal Storm, uh, was it 3 million dollars or something like that? They bought it, and it opened like in 2,000 screens nationwide in the Uni United States, and I, I understand it was a big hit. Critics didn't like it, but uh, I think uh, audiences like it. Audiences like this, like this much more than they liked Jaws 3D, which were audiences were pretty disappointed inside information about the making of the film and making of the effects and also how what it meant for the makers like i said uh, it was sold three millions and charles band the director of of this film used that money at least some of it to assemble his own company full moon pictures and full moon has made uh, lots of genre pictures that i i i think i'm gonna I'm gonna talk about in the future. And uh, still gallery and radio spots, usual theatrical trailer and stuff like that. It's a, it's a great release. Uh, only minus, minus for me was that th this is uh, locked for region A, which God damn it, made you, you made me buy a fucking region free 3D player. But it is a decision that I do not regret when I saw this great picture. The 3D, like I said, it's all over the place, but also my my favorite are those snakes emerging from the ground. And I think it is pretty atmospheric scene when the... Oh. 
I also like the scene where J Dogen fights the Cyclop man. The ending is uh, kinda lame because it leaves the story open, but I can see what they tried to do there. They are doing this kind of 2001 Kubrick like laser tunnel stuff, and it's pretty convincing 3D effect. Of course, my favorite scenes in these films are those scenes where this mechanical arm dude is on screen, because I think most of the kids who have seen this in 80s remember that dude. It kind of reminds me of one of those Masters of the Universe characters. I'd probably recommend this film for everyone who likes Mad Max films, who likes Italian post-Holocaust ripoff films, who likes Star Wars, and who generally like this kind of low-budget 80s action-adventure films. It's not the best one around, but uh, it's, it's, it's good entertainment, and especially if you have a machine that can play 3D, then I think this, this is a very good way to go. It's short. Yeah, it's short, it's entertaining, it got some nice special effects in it. It has this certain kind of charm that most of uh, contemporary films just can't have. I'd recommend it. I would give this film uh, three and a half stars. Yeah, let's call it three and a half 3D classes for this film. The destruction of Jared Sin in 3D. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting that bell button to get notified when there's a new video. If you have any requests about the films you want me to do, please tell me about it in the comment section. For more info, visit videospace.fi, a community for video collectors and movie enthusiasts. Thank you for watching.